So the video that you're about to see is a throwback video from like last summer when the whole submersible happened as far as the Titan goes. The front end of the video was corrupted and I've tried and tried and tried as far as the recovery software but I have not been able to locate the SD card that the front half of the video is on so that is not continuing to take up space on the computer and affect the ability to do imports. I'm going to go ahead and upload it because we still had a pretty decent conversation toward the tail end of the 15 minutes that we did have on the video. So hope you guys enjoy the remainder of the video with cousin Mike and I and get it y'all later fam. Love y'all. Stay safe, stay blessed. More yeah. than just, cause I didn't even realize or think about I was relying on me more so than leaning into God for a lot of stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm doing it a lot these days, and man, yeah. when I tell you, it's like the attacks have been mute, have been uh, many a plenty. Mm -hmm. They have been many a plenty. Mm -hmm. So this uh, SD card wanted to try to <laughs> <laughs> prevent us from being great. Yeah. We still here though. On that. Second question you were talking about. I got oh. billions. You have billions. I wish. Flying is already a super hazard as it is. Mm -hmm. Would you ever put yourself in a position to where if something goes wrong, there is zero percent chance of survival? Because even though people have their qualms about flying, mm -hmm. unless it explodes in the air, technically the plane malfunction in the air, if you got parachutes, you got a chance to at least try to survive. Yeah. Underwater, if something happened, <laughs> especially at extreme depths, mm hmm. Ain't nothing you can do but sit there and be like, well, it was a good run. <laughs> no, man. That's basically the position they was in, huh? Mm hmm. I don't think I would have. I don't even know. Why. I want to know why people still care about the Titanic. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think I would have. You better, you better watch a live stream of a robot going down there. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk my life. If I'm, I don't. Because one thing to be on a boat. You would think, you would think he'll use his billions to do that. I'm not even talking about the owners. There were multiple, like the. The people, the other people that were on the, it was a, um... You said they were all billionaires? Or had money? A few of them were billionaires. And to top it off, it was like a, it was like a, a tourist voyage, voyage. Like, that's what I was saying, like, multiple people have visited the Titanic mm -hmm. on that particular submarine. Okay. Before this happened. Yeah. But, but you see, we hear about nobody making you. You see, that goes to show you. Look, this is another example of positive versus negative media. Twenty people, around twenty people, have successfully went down there on this submarine to go visit. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. And view the Titanic. Mm -hmm. We heard. We ain't hear nothing about that. And find out nothing about that on a massive, on a massive mainstream media scale until something bad happened. Then we heard about all the other successful attempts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is crazy. If I had billions, I wouldn't care that much. But I guess since they have billions, they don't got nothing else to do. They don't want to send a robot down there. One they, person was down there with their with their son. It was an 18 year old that was on that ship too. You serious? 18 year old. Yeah, they tweak you. 
No, <laughs> bug it. Yeah. I don't know. If they, I, don't, I guess they didn't. They have to know the risk. They had to sign a waiver. They pretty much said if anything happened, their family couldn't even sue. Mm hmm. Somebody stick something like that in my face. They better, they better have something like that. They would have been in trouble, but we are. Something that say if if anything goes wrong, that my family could not take any legal action. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really. Hang on. Yeah, I was say that probably man, you probably shouldn't have went. Hang on. My that, but that boy 18 no though, that boy 18 though, it's like he probably He didn't want to go. He did want to go? He did not want to go. Yeah. There will probably be one more person on there. But when he got there, he was like, um, this don't look professional. So he backed out. Yeah. I know that that person in the back got looking like, ooh, my spirit was on point. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that sermon. Oh, I'm saying, man. I know he would probably, if he believed in God and he probably believed then. And yeah, think about it. Um, think about this too, cuz. Mm -hmm. If we, if they had like uh, a clause that said if you cancel at the last minute, it's no refund. So imagine if they told him, okay, well, if you cancel, you can't get none of your money back. He like, I sue y'all for the money. I just ain't, I just ain't with going down though. Yeah. So imagine if they actually also told him that he wasn't getting a refund. He still walked away on the premise like that. He wasn't gonna get a refund at that point. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty k. You could, you value your life at more than two hundred fifty k. Yeah. Cause you you walked away two hundred fifty k and that literally saved your life. Yeah. <laughs> so let so not being concerned about a quarter million dollars save you to be allowed to make many more dollars. Make many exactly. That's crazy. Man. I didn't even know all this went in that. I didn't even know it went in that depth. I thought it was just some some researchers trying to still find some more stuff down there to see what they can find. Tourists. So they were just tourists. Tourist. Tourist. <laughs> but you know, some people will will have will have instincts and then they'll go against them. Yeah, that's true. You're right. For sure. So that's definitely a sign for people like if you're not overreaching and being unrealistic and being um, non empathetic with what's going on with anybody. Mm -hmm. Like if you got a if you got a feeling, you better trust that. For sure. Yeah. Because your spirit is stirred for a reason. Yeah. It knows something. Uh huh. But we'll be so worried about trying to see, and we can't see what's going on. So like, uh -uh, I don't see nothing wrong. Yeah. And you ain't even thinking about the big picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's sad though. Did it have any update? Did it say what happened? It imploded. Man. People be looking at outer space and thinking about aliens and whatnot. That is not, man, people don't, people just don't know. I feel like the C got as much, if hmm. not more. I was just about to, there you go. If not more, me being in the Navy, like I learned some of that, like, man, everybody worried about outer space. Originally, originally, outer space wasn't even supposed to be a thing. It was really supposed to be the C. The exploration. It's C exploration, but like, it's so much down there they don't know like what's really man it's so much stuff down there that people don't and then even that know pressure the pressure you know, yeah. like the, the further you go down the pressure so mm -hmm. above ground we haven't figured out a way to counteract the pressure to even really explore because not only 
the further you go down, the pressure, the colder it the gets. The colder, the darker. Right. So uh, the pressure problem is just one of the many different things you have to solve in order to be able to explore comfortably. Yeah. Because you can be down there, let's just say we saw the pressure problem, right? Mm -hmm. We can be down there and not be worried about pressure, but if it's pitch black dark, who's to say there's not a megalodon out there and we just bouncing off sonar and we're like, oh, it's something big right there. Oh, they got swallowed by a whole super titanoboa. Right. <laughs> or whatever down there. Right. That has adapted all this time because also let's let's think about this outer space versus the sea. Mm -hmm. If we were invaded from outer space versus being invaded from the sea, outer space takes more time in order for it to happen. If we get invaded from the sea, we done for. Like, cause we can't even get off the we land. Can't get off, yep. Fast enough. Mm -hmm. They are. They, if they coming from the sea, they coming from beneath us. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna get. If they in the sea, they are already here. So mm -hmm. they're gonna get here quicker than having to come through the atmosphere. Come, come yeah. from their planet. Yeah. They'll see it coming too. Anyway, from bingo. From far away. They'll see it coming. But even if we detect sonar from it coming from beneath, with how little we know, still ain't nothing we're gonna be able to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't thinking about it like that. I heard something crazy. So I heard like to get to Mars, you have to go through the sea. They say you have to get through the bottom of the ocean to get to Mars. They said something crazy, but like, it was funny. I've seen the. Uh, There's so many conspiracy theories about it, but I feel like some of that stuff true. I've seen a post about the uh, pyramid. When you said that, it made me think about the post I've seen about the pyramid. Yeah. That's like um, the tip of the pyramid is pretty. There's a whole structure beneath the earth, mm -hmm. and the tip of the pyramid just lined up. It was it started poking out of the earth, but the actual full structure. Is beneath the earth. Mm. Like pyramids are levels on levels on levels, skyscrapers beneath the earth. Beneath. Mm hmm. Yeah, all right. That the pyramids were built up, not down. Yeah. Mm. I never thought about it like that. I ain't, I ain't, heard, I ain't never heard that at all. Built from beneath the surface instead of above the surface because both of them still built up, but built from beneath the surface oh. and made to protrude from the surface. Oh. When did you like? When did when did you find that out? Like, when when did you see it? When did you hear about that? Oh no, I had I saw that post. I saw that uh, uh, um on a Facebook post. Oh okay. yeah, I was I was saying when you said what you said, it made me think about that Facebook post. I had seen. Pretty good. That was good. That was. Ooh. And if y'all know we drinking this Kiki Poo, I don't know. It, it's a Birmingham thing. Yeah. It's like a dirtier version of Kool Aid. <laughs> um, um, a super mix of Kool Aid. Yep. It's definitely been enjoyable chopping it up like as usual. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. The fam is excited about having you back. They. Yeah. Who's to Jazz brother? Um, yeah, I saw that. Who's to say who y'all gonna see next? Yeah, y'all never know. We 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 here. We in here. Yeah, it's right, yeah. man. Family for a reason, and family outside of just the court family. Exactly. But, well, um, but yeah, uh, it was like I said, it's good seeing y'all. That's all it is with me though. I'm just I'm getting out the name at the end of the year. Yeah, but, you know. I already started college, but I'm gonna continue that until I get to. I'll let y'all know next video, or whatever I do, let y'all know what's next. I'm gonna, gonna y'all keep up with me. Dang. So, sadly, we have come to that point in the video where we must let you guys go. So, until next video, fam, love you guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Be that light for someone else to emulate yes, because you never know what your kind of words and gestures could do for the next person day. Yes, sir. All right. Ooh, that was a quick, nice, simple. Yeah, man, I don't know. All right. Oh. I said in the